What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today it's going to be an update on the Compact. Now, um, for a while now I've been a bit unhappy with the way the rear sits. For me it's quite, not quite low enough. So I primarily like to run a 225-45-17 rear tyre and it's an 8.5 wide and I think the ET is 13. So they do stick out quite a bit. So I haven't been able to go low enough simply because it rubs on the arches. So today we're going to fit some of these, which are fender flares. So that means that I can now zero the camber because I was running about two, three degrees because of, again of the rubbing issue. So I can set the camber and to do that I'm going to cut the arches out and then fit these flares on the rear. Also in terms of the front, um, I've removed those kind of steel lock adapters that I had simply because they were starting to bend. So rather than wait for them to fail, I thought I'd go back to old school. So I fit a set of cut knuckles and some extended arms. Obviously that's now widened the track somewhat. So to accommodate that larger, wider track, these fender flares will be going on the front as well. So this video is simply going to be me fitting these fender flares, kind of marking out, cutting the arches and then riveting these bad boys on. So I'll get started on the front and then I'll work my way to the back. Okay, so I previously fitted the wheel and worked out where it's rubbing the most. And with the new track width, um, and obviously the, the wheel sticking further out, it's rubbing along this edge here. So, what I'll need the fender flares to do is to basically obviously give me a, more, a bit more space, but also allow me to cut out this little bit on this edge where it's rubbing. So primarily they'll be a bit further forward rather than rear to give me the space I need to clear the edge of this bumper and the kind of tip of that wing. So um, I'll get that final position and then I'll use a, a white pen to draw around to give me the outside line. And then I can draw inwards, I don't know, about 40 mil. And that gives me the points in which I'm gonna rivet. So I'll have an outside line an inside line in between those two is where you, I'm going to rivet it and then this lower edge here is where I can cut so it will kind of come along here and go along the edge anyway I'm talking a lot me let me allow the pictures to do the words so I'll put the camera down and crack on Right, so in between those two lines is where we're going to rivet it on. So we've got more than nothing in there, so all this we can cut below the second line here, we can cut all that out. Give it all the clearance we need. When you offer up the arches, they don't sit flat against the panel. If you do push them flat, they stick out like that. So basically when you've got them angled the way you want them, these little tabs are basically meant to sit on a panel which is flat and not sit on the kind of curved part of the arch. So to fix that, what I've done is I marked up here and here where these little tabs go and then I've literally just bent these just these sections here down and angled them so that when this is sat on the panel as you can see now it sits nice and flush so that's kind of the end result right and mark out the rears now.
time to do the inner line. Right, so that's what I'll cut away. Okay, what next? So, whilst I wait for the rivets to arrive, I'm just going to clean up the arches. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of paint over the edges just to stop them rusting. And then on the rears, I'm just going to use some Tiger Seal or something just to seal up the arches so they don't rust. And obviously there'll be a bit of time in letting them dry. And then, um, yeah, then we can move on to fitting them and see how it sits. Right, car's back on the floor now. <coughs> you can see the full extent of where I've cut the arches and cut the corner of the bumper and stuff. Unlock it's still catching a little bit down here, so I'm just gonna kind of trim straight up. So it gives me the right amount of clearance. But happy with the front. Rears, camber's now at zero. I've lowered them a little bit. And obviously the arches have been cut and sealed, some tiger seal. So that's, that's all good now. And I've got the rivets in. Uh, so these are them black rivets these are 3.2 mil um, kind of diameter on there and they're large head ones so I can get cracking with that so I've already got my kind of um, guidelines for where they're gonna go I think I'm gonna drop them down a little bit from that line there but that's that's my guideline on the front and back so I haven't really got to work out where they're gonna go because that's already been done so I can literally just position them drill the hole and then rivet them up and that should be it
All right, I'm happy with that. I think that looks quite cool. Functional, but doesn't look too bad either. So that's the red one. I can move now onto the front. Okay, onto the front. Got a nice amount of clearance through this whole edge here. Just gets a little close as we get to this bit here. So what I'm gonna do is just again trim straight down just to give me some clearance to that front edge just whilst I'm turning lock to lock. But other than that, so far so good. So I've cut the inner arches just to give myself a bit more clearance. On lock it was very, very close. And to be honest with you, it's probably a little bit too low, but we'll take it out and see what happens, see what rubs and see what breaks. But as you can see in the arch, I've got a reasonable amount of uh, clearance now. I've had to hammer the front part of this inner wing up because it was very, very close, but I'm kind of okay with that. I don't think the suspension trim is gonna be that much where I'm gonna touch, but if it does, then it can come up a bit. Right, so all the arches are now on. Give them a bit of a clean as well, so it all looks nice. So there's the rears. And these are the fronts. I've had to cut quite a bit from the bumper. And basically where the inner uh, uh, where the wing um, bolts to the car, I've had to cut that bracket away. Um, and part of the bumper support as well, so hence why I've got these um, Kind of quick release bumper mounting whatever you want to call them they seem to be holding up all right so happy with those but again yeah i've had to trim quite a bit of the bumper and obviously the arch but i've got the clearance i need now so happy with that let's move this side so yeah happy with that Sitting a bit lower now as well, so I'm happy with the ride height. Anyway, that's it for me. As always, thanks for watching, and I will catch up on the next update. Cheers, bye.